Kirk Young from LearningGolf.tv. Today I'm going to show you how to hit a long chip shot uphill. And basically what I have in front of me here is from the start of the green to the hole is 20 yards or 60 feet. I'm standing about 10 feet from our, where I want the ball to land. So I want the ball to land here in the beginning of the green about in this area. Typically I'll pick a spot that's about three to six feet on the green. That's the best place to land a ball and then get it rolling. So I want the shot to be as low as possible like a putt. I couldn't use the putter here simply because uh, there's a big indentation here. It's been pretty dry and then there's clumps of grass here so it would be kind of uneven but I would certainly consider it. First I had a seven iron in my hand but as I stood here and I haven't hit the shots yet uh, as I stood here I felt like it might roll too far because the greens are pretty fast so I took the next more lofted club because I always want to stay aggressive. I don't want to get up to the shot and feel like I have to be careful with it. So I'm going to take a little bit more loft, which is the eight iron, and then I can be more aggressive in hitting the shot. And that's kind of how I make my choice as I set up and I try to get a feel with the ball landing there with my standard shot. How far is it going to roll? If it feels like it's too far, take the next lofted club. If you get to the end of the line and it's a lob wedge, uh, and it's going to roll too far, then you need to change the ball position more forward and as last resort, open the club face as well. So my chipping technique, standing as close as I can, comfortably, more upright, and then swinging the club back and through using my body, ball positions off the right foot, the hands are relaxed. It's just a body motion. Landed about where I want. A little bit of a break to the right there, uh, but good shot. Good distance, so I think I chose the right club. We'll try again. Try to get my get the aim a little bit better. And I stand open on these shots uh, because of the back ball position. It tends to send the ball a little bit to the right of where we're aimed. That's right at it. There it is, folks. Second try, though, but she's in. Always fun to make them. See if we can make another one. And that's the goal. That's why I hit three balls on these, uh, to see the consistency. I want to see each ball close to the hole, and that tells me I made the right choice. Another good one. It's a little bit right, though all within three or four feet and one in the hole. So I'm very happy with that. And you wanna practice from as many different situations as possible. Sometimes I'll use one ball from three different positions and play them with different clubs up to the hole uh, just to get as much variety as possible. So any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. I respond to all reasonable questions and comments. Uh, please also hit the red subscribe button below to be notified as I release new videos and visit learninggolf.tv to learn more about my easy to learn setup for impact golf method, upcoming schools, and my very inexpensive membership which entitles you to send in videos for my review. Thank you very much and I hope you have a great day.